Now you're looking at the endless, sinister, dangerous quagmire. But somewhere at this place, there are Vigion, Mysterious, the deepest lakes. It will be quite scary, but today we will try to find one of these lakes. And the new extract ATV Tinger will help us. Let's go! Hi guys, as usual it's me, just a voiceover and you are watching Review Machines. And we are again in the land of endless swamps. And again it's going to be an interesting adventure today. But this time we are riding the newest all-terrain vehicle, which is called Tinger. Our purpose today, as I've already said, is a hidden in the endless swamp region lake. There are so few people who saw this lake, cause the only way to get there is a helicopter or some kind of machine that we are riding today. Now we are moving to the Great Swamp, but the road still is rather decent as you can see, and we have the possibility to test the maximum speed. I should say it's not very impressive, about 35 km per hour, but I think this ATV can impress us by other features. Let's find out what are they. Well, it's time to leave a good road and test how this vehicle can tackle rough terrain. As you can see, the ATV is quite good at hill climbing. It has a very low gravity center. Besides, two white tracks provide a perfect traction, so it climbs on steep slopes like a little tank. The width is 1900 mm and the height is only 1200 mm, so it's very hard to roll over the vehicle. As a result, Tinger is able to overcome 45 degrees angles of ascent and descent. The tilt angle is 30 degrees, and it's able to overpass a ditch with a width of 1 meter. Meantime, we are going through the beautiful forest, with plenty of bilberry under our tracks. Let's keep on our trip to our purpose, enjoying this admirable forest and fresh spring air. Our ATV has a skid steering that does a lot of good when moving through a forest. A perfect maneuverability is a very useful feature. It's a serious advantage of the track machine in comparison with any wheeled vehicle. Let's look how the suspension works. Each roller here has an independent suspension. Besides, the tracks are quite long and such a solution provides a very smooth riding. Then we decided to find out how our ATV is able to take on a Betis. It's a usual obstacle when you are moving through a forest, so we were rather curious what Tinger can show us here. It's worth saying that such an obstacle might be a serious problem for a wheel ATV, cause it's easy to puncture the wheel with a keen bow. So the tracks have an advantage in this episode. To overcome such obstacle, it's very important to have a robust frame. Our ATV has a steel frame and the body made of a thick plastic, and they together provide a very decent durability of the whole construction. The body isn't afraid of bumps and has a little weight, so I think it's quite a good material for an ATV. Though there are many views that steel or aluminium is a better material for an ATV. What do you think? Please pass the comment with your opinion. Meantime, the beautiful forest was left behind and we faced the beginning of the huge swamp. Before we dive in the swamp, we decided to have a little rest and prepare the machines for a tough test. We have to be completely confident about the reliability before such a dangerous trip. Let's use this time to look at the main specs of the machines. First of all, the full name of the machine is Tinger Track S500. The weight is 950 kilos. The carrying capacity is 500 kilos. The width of the tracks is 500 millimeters. 
The engine is 3 cylinders Cherry SQR, 800 cubic centimeters capacity and 57 horsepower. The maximum speed is 35 km per hour. The engine works with a CVT transmission. There are 5 seats in the cabin, but it's recommended to take on board 4 people. There is a handlebar like on a quad and skid steering. Well, here it is, the endless land of the swamp. To tell the truth, it was slightly frightful to dive into a quagmire. That is why firstly we let the scout find out how the machine can go here. By the way, I want to remind that the main purpose of this trip is a hidden lake. It's extremely seldom visited by any people, and there are some rumors that it's a fantastic fishing there. Meantime, Tinger is going through the swamp quite confidently, thanks to the white tracks. They put very little pressure on the ground, and as a result we have a perfect performance in the swamp. Well, let's take our seats and continue our trip in search of the hidden lake. If you are going to have a ride at such places, it's very important to be sure about the reliability of your machine. The reliability is important, but there are other rules. Firstly, there should be at least two machines to help each other. Then you should have any communication, for example satellite phone. Then there should be stock of fuel with you, cause fuel consumption is maximum when you are moving on swamp. By the way, our ATV has 38 liters fuel tank, that provides 8 hours of moving. Well, to sum it up, you have to prepare for such trips very thoroughly and be ready for any situation. By the way, I would like to thank our friends from Fintrail company for providing me an awesome outfit for an off-roading adventures. It helps so greatly in shooting this video. I always stay in comfort, no matter what conditions we have while filming. Fintrail outfit lets your body breathe, and it's completely waterproof. Thanks a lot guys, and we are moving on. Well, we finally found it. Here it is, the hidden lake. A very impressive place, isn't it? But a bit scary. The matter is, it's really bottomless. Under the thin carpet of a quagmire, there is a deep dark water, and who knows who lives there. That is why I tried not to leave our vehicle for too long, and it was so good to know that Tinger is an amphibious ATV. And it's a great opportunity to test this feature. As you can see, it floats rather well. The maximum speed on water is about 3 km per hour, but it's possible to mount a boat motor to increase the speed. And now let's do another interesting test. We'll try to climb from water on the ground, so to speak. And now it's high time to speak about the prices, I think. As always, it depends on the options, but the standard price is about $20,000. And there is a model with narrow tracks and less engine. It costs about $15,000. Well, it's so exciting that we visited this unique place. Now we are going to do some fusion here, and I think it's time to say goodbye. Thanks that you had this little trip with us. Please subscribe the channel if you like this video. It will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.